have spent over 200 days in this hardcore Minecraft world, and so far, pretty much all I have to show for it is a bunch of builds. Well, today, that changes. Today, we are going to search far and wide for every single cat in Minecraft so that we can get this achievement. Now, I must admit, in real life, I am much more of a dog person, mostly because I'm allergic to cats. I, I would probably have a cat otherwise. But in Minecraft, we have to be honest, cats are just a little better. I'm, I'm sorry, dogs or wolves. We recently have gotten our very first village cat, Crimson, who is a black cat that looks over our newly constructed barn. And well, yeah, Crimson's gonna get some buddies today. There is an advancement that I honestly didn't even know about. It's called a complete catalog, where you have to tame all the cat variants. I've never completed this advancement, and well, I think that I should. Huh, okay. In order to tame a whole bunch of cats, we're going to need a bunch of fish because, well, that's that's what cats like. Uh, don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. Gosh, there are so many salmon in this little lake. Well, now that I've got some fish, we just need cats to spawn. And we're already in a village, so cats can already spawn here. We just need to kind of hang out and wait until any show up. While we're waiting, I was thinking maybe we could finally fix up this area. After all, a dock area seems like it would be perfect for the cats to actually live in once we've tamed them. And also, well, let's be honest, this place has been far too ugly for far too long. I just feel like we could really use the cats as motivation to transform this entire dock side. I'm going to go ahead and bring these docks all the way around these two structures here. I've been feeling very inspired to work on this dock area ever since I first saw this village on episode one. I mean, it's just such an inspiring area. I decided to lay out some preliminary dock edges and kind of shape up the terrain a little bit to give us a better idea of the structures that we could potentially place here. And unfortunately, no cats have spawned yet. It appears we are going to have to be patient. We have three main structures down here on the bottom level of the village to work on. We've got a little book area right there where our mending villager is. We've got a random little home there and we've got the market area. Aha, uh -huh. don't worry, I have a plan. So we obviously want to get all the cats, but I also want them to have a place to live within the village. I've decided we shall do a market area because one is already there. A fishing area because we need to get fish in order to get the cats tamed. And well, fishing's kind of fun anyway. And finally, a bookstore, which I think will be a big difference from what I usually do because normally when I see these structures, I think library. But today I'm gonna do a cute little bookshop and have cats living within it. So we can have like cats helping the fishermen, we can have cats in the market, and we can have cats in the bookshop. And of course, we'll still have our cat up at the barn. Now, in order to put any of this into action, uh, we, we gotta get building. We really gotta get building. We really got a lot of building to do. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to work. Don't you worry. All right, you have to admit, this looks way cleaner. I feel like I can really properly visualize what I need to do now. Although, um, I didn't place that. I think an Enderman's been here. Thanks, uh, but no thanks. I'm good. Oh, our Golem needs a little bit of help. Here you go, buddy. You're doing a great job. Now that we've done a little bit of building, I want to see if any cats have spawned anywhere around this village because it is possible for them to spawn here. Basically, the spawn conditions are, there just needs to be five beds claimed in a village, and we definitely have that, because we have lots of villagers. So we just have to kind of keep our eye out and see if any little feline friends are around. Sunny, have you seen any cats? I won't let them get to you, don't worry. I feel like around the barn is where I've seen the most cats spawning, so maybe I'll kind of hang out around here for a bit. Hey Crimson, have you seen any friends? Oh, by the way, a bunch of you have mentioned how rare Crimson actually is, and I don't know if you know this, but black cats only spawn in witch huts, or they spawn in villages only on a full moon. So getting Crimson here, a black cat, 
was actually incredibly lucky. It must have been a full moon and I didn't even realize. So we were able to get a black cat. That's probably the most difficult cat that we needed to get, and it's our first cat. So I feel like that's a pretty good start for the episode. I mean, it's gotta go well, right? We've got all of the most common cats left to get, surely. Oh, my goodness. Hello? That's where my master weaponsmith went. What? What are you doing? Guys, come on, come on out of the hole. Weaponsmith. We gotta get you in the smith's house, come on. I guess that means I should probably make a second grindstone since we now have two weaponsmiths. Come on guys, I'm looking for cats, not problems with my villagers. That's it, that's it, over here. No, oh, for goodness sake. Come on, buddy. Hey, Cyrus, I got you a friend. Gosh, I am so glad you're not dead. This is awesome though, we've got two master weaponsmiths now. One for smite. I went for sharpness on breaking. So this one's got the better sword and this one's got a much better ax. Cool. Anyways, what I was about to do was make a couple of extra beds just in case some of these villagers don't actually have a place to sleep. Be like a little temporary bench. I guess this area over here also technically counts as a village. So we could probably check here too for cats. Maybe if I do a little bit of fishing to pass the time, that'll attract some cats. <laughs> I'm sure a cat will come any second now. Whoa. That was a lucky first cast. <laughs> nice. Eh. No cats, though. We carry on. Still no cat, but I did just see a wandering trader up over those ridges, so I want to go see what it's got to trade. Let me just grab my emeralds. Hello, lovely. Uh, dye, birch saplings, and a bucket of puffer fish. You know what? I don't really need that. I do, however, really need those leads. This should actually help with the cat collection. Thank you. You're the best. Honestly, I haven't really been all that patient yet waiting for the cats to spawn and I think I'm kind of craving an adventure anyway. So I'm going to just check. Yeah, let's see if I have any more leads for should do it though. Oh, nope. One more. I say we go on a little adventure to see if I can find any cats in the surrounding villages. I've been living in this village for so long that I've scared off the original cats that lived here and I've been awake for the last like four Minecraft days and nothing has spawned. However, if we go to a new village or even maybe that one that we found in episode one over here, the Taiga village, it should have cats that won't despawn and hopefully they haven't been scared away yet. Off we go on a cat collecting adventure. Whoop. Uh, don't fall in the giant crevasse. All right, here we are. I'm double fisting the fish. So hopefully any cats should be very inclined to come say hello. Gosh, we should really come by here and help these villagers out at some point. This village is in rough shape. It is over a lot of caves. It may actually make for a really cool like mining village transformation at some point. I mean, all these caves give me a lot of ideas. We gotta focus though, we're working on our purple and pink village for now. Oh, that is a beautiful horse. I don't need horses, I need cats, I don't need horses, I need cats. Focus, focus. <gasps> you are not a cat. Good Lord. Maybe I should have a shield on hand. <gasps> You're a cat? Oh my gosh. It's our first cat of the episode. Focus, focus. Come on, little kitty. I think it's trapped. <gasps> Whoa, I guess I'll tame it while it's running away. I didn't think you could. Whoa, come on, little guy. Oh, you're so cute. <gasps> I love it. Okay, so that should mean on our advancement, we now have two of the 11 variants, a black cat and a brown cat. This is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer just to see if any other cats will spawn for me. This is exactly how I got in the business of transforming villages. I mean, you just hang out in long enough and you realize how much of a train wreck the place is. All right, it doesn't seem like there are any more cats here in this village, so I am going to walk this kitty all the way back home and sit them down there while I go to another village to look for even more cats. This is the worst. Jeez. 
This is my favorite part about having cats. You're amazing. <laughs> oh, he brought me a chicken. That's not gonna be cute when you bring me one from the coop, but a wild chicken's okay. Home sweet home. Two out of 11. I guess that works. New plan. We're going to go to all of the villages surrounding our spawn and see if we can get as many cats as possible from those villages and bring them back here. Let's do it. <gasps> oh, that one's black. <laughs> Maybe my theory about black cats being rare is wrong. Whoop. Lava pool. Right, Lavender, you stay there for a moment. <gasps> yes, our third cat, everybody. Here, kitty. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Cat number three has been acquired and it's gorgeous. I love these ones. Sorry, black kitty. And unfortunately, we just don't need that one. Okay, um, time to sleep. Thanks, dude. Can the cat follow me while I'm on horseback? Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> All right, everybody, stay here. <gasps> there we go, another one. We don't have this one yet either. Come on, little kitty. Oh, no, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chase. I'm just gonna chase, it's fine. Oh, uh-oh. Cat is faster than me. Here, kitty. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Okay, that makes four cats. <gasps> Whoa, five. Come on, little guy. Come on, come on. These creatures are so finicky. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. Now where'd the other one go? <laughs> Cats acquired. Honestly, I think the trickiest part of this is gonna be getting all three of these guys home. Come on, Lavender. We got a cat delivery to make. We'll just go fairly slowly. <laughs> oh dear. Oh gosh. <laughs> Those leads break. Come on. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a challenge. Here we are, kitties. Welcome to the barn. Everybody can just come on in here and sit down. <laughs> yeah, I can already tell this is gonna be ridiculous and also amazing. Okay, so that gets us five out of 11. We're basically at the halfway point. There's no really half of a, we can't get a half of a cat, so. Five or six is about the halfway point. It's probably going to start getting tricky at this point. We've already seen a duplicate of Crimson, and I expect now that we have all of these, we'll probably get even more duplicates. That's not gonna stop me though. Let's go find some more villages. Oh. Oh dear. Who knew going to get some cats could be so dangerous? Is my horse fine because it's in leather armor? Is that a thing? Good lord. This village is tiny. It has a lot of sheep. But I don't know if it even meets the spawning requirements for cats. Obviously, I'm gonna take a little look anyway. Well, no luck in this one, Lavender. Here we go, Lavender. Surely this one's got some more cats for us. These alliums are gorgeous, I need them. Hello? Do you nitwits have any cats? Oh, these would look so good in the village. Focus, focus. A baby sheep. I almost thought you were a cat. How is this the second village I've been in where there's no cats? What is going on? All right, Lavender, come on, off we go. Oh. 
here we go yet another village i'm actually i'm getting a little bit of fps lag while i'm out here but i have good news this is the last video on my channel recorded on this current pc i'm i'm building a new pc and it should be a massive upgrade so hopefully no more of the slight stuttering in the videos <gasps> and even better news that's a white cat we don't have a white cat hold on stop everything don't go anywhere that's a polar bear. Oh gosh, it's an angry polar bear. Um, if I get killed by a polar bear in hardcore mode, that's embarrassing. I really don't want to have to kill a polar bear though. I mean, uh, okay, I'll just go around. You know what? Lavender, <laughs> I don't think polar bears eat horses. It's fine. But that is a dangerous place that I've parked my horse. Oh, all right. I'll figure it out. It's fine. Look at the white cat. Come here, kitty. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. Yes. Okay. Oh, and there's the other one. So every village, I think, spawns with two. And we got lucky. This village has two that we don't have yet. Assuming I can get them. Come on, come on. No, no, no. I ris I'm risking my life for this. I parked my horse next to a polar bear. Do you know the struggle? I'm not from this, like, cold area. I have, like, a nice bay area village. C come on. I'd like to go home. Yes. Okay. And we sleep. Maybe I'll check out this igloo while I'm here. I haven't been in one of these in so long. Does this one have a basement? <gasps> oh, it does. I don't know that I've ever been in one of these with a basement. Wait. This is fascinating. It has like everything that you need to teach you how to convert a zombie in here. That's what this is. It's teaching a player, it's teaching the player how to splash a potion of weakness and a golden apple to convert a zombie. This is so cool. I'm gonna just save the location and maybe we'll come back here someday and do something with that guy and um, you know, save him. You'll be all right though for now, don't worry. That is so cool how it's like hidden in an igloo. All right, here's my two lovely new cats. I know I'm supposed to be collecting cats in this episode, but I can't help but notice how striking this village is as well. It's got the ice spikes biome over there. It's got a full nice igloo next to it. And these villages are just so unique. I would also love to transform this one. Ah, oh, we have so much to do. I better stay alive. I really gotta try not to die to that polar bear. All right, cats. Wait. Where's the other one? Hello? Oh. <laughs> There you are. We've got to go get my horse back without dying to the polar bear. <laughs> it's fine. Very carefully. It's okay. I come in peace. Uh-huh. I take my horse. And we leave. Okay. It's fine. I did it. I did it. Whoa. That was a long journey away from home. I think Lavender, and also me, <laughs> need some rest. We now have seven different cats here. <laughs> that is a lot of cats. I mean, I feel like they deserve somewhere to live while they're here waiting for me to get the rest of them. We are definitely officially over halfway on our tame all cat variants advancement. So in celebration of that, I'm going to take a little break from all of the exploring to build my cats an actual area. We need to get back down to this dock area because I have a couple of really cool ideas. In order to do them though, we're gonna need to do a bunch of gathering. Let's get to it. I tell you what, one thing about building next to this water, there is always somebody with a trident wanting to murder you. It just, it always. Fruit, my boat! You shot my boat. Now there was no need of that. That was a chess boat. All right, come here, come here. Oh, there we go. Did we get one? Oh my gosh! Oh, we got a trident! Dudes, I got a trident! You have my wood. Hello? Give me that stair back. Oh, I'm drowning. I'm drowning for the stair. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. Honestly, the audacity of these drowned. What the heck? This was my moss chest. 
It's a very important chess boat. I'm so excited I got a trident. Oh my gosh, what a wonderful gift for building a bookstore. It, the bookstore is going well, by the way. We, we need to detail it. And I was gone to get some more calcite, which is when the drowned happened. But now I want to enchant this trident. Channeling? Impaling? I'm breaking? We need loyalty. That's really good, though. I like channeling. We can do the thunder. I'll have to get loyalty in order to actually reliably use that, but that is amazing. I'm so excited. Anyways, I am so far falling in love with this little bookshop. I've made it look like a little market stall is out front here on the docks. I just love it. I love that you can see the sanctuary in the distance. This whole area is just coming together. All I've got to do now is just work on finalizing all of the details basically on the outside and then we can move in our librarians to the inside and actually make the interior look like a shop, I guess. Oh, and we'll have to put some areas for the cats, obviously. I remembered that I'm doing a cat episode. I'm doing a cat episode. We There's cats. I'm loving the new chiseled bookshelves because this is going to be such an easy way to decorate things. I just wish that the wood color didn't have to be oak. When are they going to let things be different colors depending on the wood color that you're working with, you know? Okay, this is what I'm picturing, right? On the outside, we'll have somebody working the kind of outside shop here, and then we'll also have people on the inside. Where'd the librarian go? Oh, come on. There we go, perfect. So this is our mending villager and hopefully I can just keep you safe in here. Now for the rest of the outside, we need a bunch of lanterns. We need maybe a chimney going up. Yeah, 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 we always need a chimney. And then I'm thinking just like some flower boxes and maybe some leaves. Always need leaves. Now, time for the interior. I'm wondering if on this layer there even needs to be much of a basement. Like maybe the upstairs can be the bookshop and then the checkout is kind of just down here. So we'll have our librarian in behind here. I feel like that could work. little seating area to sit down and read the books. We've got books over here, which um, I'm gonna need some more bookshelves, but I'm all out right now. So the decorating is lacking. And then all I've got to do is decorate this area down here. The nice thing is we have this back area here in the basement where we can actually store some of our books and pretend it's basically stock for the bookstore. I feel like I say this every time, but this actually might be my favorite transformation I've done in this village yet. And we just finished that one. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can only find one librarian right now. The other one may have died in the building process. Um, but there's a lectern in there and somebody will move in hopefully soon. And I'm also going to work on getting way more bookshelves because that is the main thing that this interior is missing right now, along with some flower pots probably. And that means we can finally pick out a couple of bookstore kitties. Hello, you look like you would enjoy a bookstore. And so do you, and so do you. Come on, you three, it's bookstore time. I don't think a single cat followed me down here. Why are cats like this? Anyways, I'm also putting a bed back here for whoever works here. Oh, not you though, you're a farmer. <laughs> what did those cats get stuck on? Oh, you're all in here, why? Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 
you're sleeping on the job. You, you gotta go sleep in the bookstore. Oh, for goodness sake. All right, come on now. Come on. Man, these cats. <laughs> so difficult. Cat number one is in. I think it would be cute if one of them would go up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. You can probably come inside with me. Where, where'd you go? Oh, perfect. <laughs> We've got two cats out here living on the outside and one on the inside of the bookshop. Okay, that works, I like that. That's one structure done, but we tore down two structures and some market stands, which means we have more building to do. Let's get to work. Well, I was about to start, but uh, I found the missing librarian. Do you want to explain to me what you're doing up here and how, how did this happen? You're in a boat with a cow. This is embarrassing. Go back to the village. Come on, I'll help. Boats break now? That is something they must have updated that I did not notice that they updated. Come on, dude, your workstation's in. No, it's it's right there. Go get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect, and this guy sells bookshelves too. So I'll be able to fill out this bookstore in no time. Now, uh, back to the topic at hand. Time to build a fishing hut. After all, we're going to need so much fish to feed all these cats. Wonderful. The fishing hut is complete and it's looking um, very rustic. I think the oak wood is a little bit out there. I might change it for something else, but I want it to look like a little kind of shack over in the corner. I don't want it to be as big and elegant as the other structures. And I think that really gives it some rustic charm, but still allows it to fit into the village. Hopefully, once we get a couple of more shacks like this, it'll add some variety to the place. Now we've got to move in a cat and I should probably sleep. I should sleep. Hey, look at me. I'm actually sleeping in my own bed for once. All right, who's gonna be our little fishing cats? I think actually I'll take all three of you down. We still, after all, have more cats to collect. So, oh no, come on. No, oh, goodness sakes, come on. <laughs> Herding cats is really not for the weak. This is challenging. Anyways, yes, we've only got seven of the 11. One of them's gonna live in the barn, but we've gotta find homes for the other 10. So we may as well just move these three now. Come on, come on. I think you guys are actually gonna really like it down on the docks. There's so many fish and there's a local bookstore now. All right, I'm gonna get you in position on the fisherman's private dock. Come on down. Oop. No, 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 not in the water, not in the water. You'll be able to catch all the extra fish that the fisherman brings in. You can sit in here on the bed. And the final kitty, I think we'll also have you down on the docks. I like to pretend that these cats can all move around, but um, they can't move around. They, they will find a way to die, and <laughs> we don't want that. Okay, so as for our to-do list, our fishing area is complete. And our bookstore is also complete. What's not complete is the market area build. I did take down a market area there haven't put it back, and we also don't have all the cats yet. Honestly, I've been building for a while now, so maybe it's time we return our focus back to the cats. I'm gonna need a lot more fish though. Sorry, Salmon, thank you. All right, I've got the fish. The tricky part about this whole thing is gonna be getting the cats. Oh, are there still cats spawning in this village? Is that possible? I would have thought we had reached the mob cap on cats in this general vicinity, but maybe we haven't. That's so exciting. Cute. Unfortunately, we do already have a gray cat, but you know, more the merrier. Maybe taming them takes them out of the mob cap. I don't really know how mob caps work. Okay, well, maybe any extra cats can come over to live at our iron farm castle. Yeah. This could be a good home. You might be why my iron farm isn't working. Seriously? That's so weird. I have no idea where the iron golem went. There's just this iron here now. It's so convenient. <clears throat> Anyways, you'll watch the iron farm for me, right? And now we spend our days waiting for cats to spawn. Yep, that's right. That's what we're doing now. <laughs> It could be a while, but you know, it'll be fun to hang out with the villagers for a bit. I may even go around to some of the other villages just to see if we can trigger extra spawns.
Oh my gosh. We don't have this one yet. My child. Yes. There we go. Cat number eight. Nice. Okay, the method is working. I don't know much about cats, but this is peak orange cat behavior. I do know that much. <laughs> Why are you in the cave? Ugh. Do you know how long I've been standing around up at that farm looking for you? Way too long. Come here. Jeez. You get to live in the house. I had to keep an eye on you. Nine cats down. I can't believe this is actually working. <laughs> almost there we only need two more cats and we're going to get them right here in our village i didn't even need to go anywhere i'm so silly i just gotta walk around sort of nonchalantly with some salmon and pretend i'm doing other stuff oh yeah not a big deal if you spawn or not i'm just doing some chores don't worry about me won't be long now one will definitely come i know i'm supposed to be looking for cats but just what is going on here why have you two conspired to trap somebody in the chicken coop hello Sir, can you leave? <laughs> Thank you. Good. <laughs> no, don't go back yet. What is going on in this village? Get, get out. Get out. Now everybody's in. Get, come on. Out, 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 out. All right. I guess they live there now. After several more days of waiting around the village, it appeared my luck had run out. We did get two more cats, but we still had two more to go. And no more cats seem to be spawning, despite all of my efforts staying in around the village and making everything very cat friendly. So I decided to try and speed things up and kind of spice up the scenery for me and go on a little adventure to find some cats in other villages once again. I returned to villages that I was already in to see if I could trigger new spawns, basically. This was going to get tricky at this point because I only needed two more cats and they couldn't be repeats of cats that I already had. So far, I have seen three repeat cats. I'm still looking for a ragdoll cat and a jelly cat. We need jelly. <laughs> I'm getting desperate out here. I'm out in the snow. Oh my gosh. There's a slime chunk down there. <laughs> this is, uh, odd. Why is my world generated like this? <gasps> I see a cat. <gasps> oh my gosh, there was one of the cats that I need. There was one. There was one. There's also a polar bear. Are you angry? No. Okay. <gasps> there it is. I need that cat. Come on, little guy. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yes. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's check the advancement. 10 out of 11. And I can't make this up. The final cat that I need is Jelly. Jelly. <laughs> Oh, goodness sakes. If you don't understand why I keep calling the last cat Jelly, my friend Scar's real-life cat is in Minecraft, and it's called Jelly. And somehow, so far, we haven't seen a single Jelly. There are a lot of cats here, though. But we've already got that one, and we've already got that one. Well, at least we've got one more cat to go home with. Maybe, if we're lucky, I can get Jelly to spawn either on the way home or in our home village. All right, Crimson, this is number 10. <laughs> We're almost done. Here we go. Welcome home. Now, one more cat. Maybe while we wait, we can also finish our one more build that we need to do, which is this one right in the center, the marketplace, the center of the docks here. I feel like we could definitely lay out some pretty cool market stalls in this area. Maybe just a few scattered around like this would work. The marketplace is complete, and this entire area is definitely shaping up to be my favorite in the whole village. I just feel like it has so much life, especially with all of these cats around. We can now put these in different places in the market and pretend they just sort of live here and roam wherever they please. Maybe picking up some fish from the local uh, fisherman's stall. And with this build completed, there's only one thing left to do. 
We have to find Jelly. One cat left. Can you believe I'm down to having one cat left? This was definitely going to be a challenge, but I decided to just pace back and forth the village, doing a couple of chores, being kind of nonchalant, and hoping that a Jelly would appear. This is yet another repeat. I'm going to go insane. <laughs> Oh, this last cat. We are on day 262. We hit day 200 last episode, which basically means if Jelly doesn't show up soon, I will have been looking for cats for nearly 100 days. I'm not sure if that's depressing or impressive. Maybe both. Listen, okay, I've been watching a movie and just eating my lunch and hoping that one would finally spawn. And I think it did. I think it did. I think that's a jelly. I think that's a jelly. Oh, it is. It's a jelly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come here. <laughs> jelly. Jelly, please let me love you. Oh, I have never been so happy to see a Minecraft cat before. <laughs> Here you go. I did it. <laughs> a complete catalog. Can you believe it, Jelly? I am so telling Scar about how hard you were to find. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, we finally got our final cat and a complete collection. I have never done this advancement before. I didn't even really know it was a thing until I was looking through here. There's actually, there's so many I haven't done. Oh, it feels good to be able to bring the 11th cat home though. My goodness. Come on, Lavender. Last trip, I promise. Ah, home sweet home with the final cat. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, this has been a long day of Minecraft. Come on, Jelly. I'll show you where the rest of the cats are staying. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I am so proud to finally be the mother of all 11 Minecraft cats. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and that it inspired you to do something similar in your world. I had so much fun playing Minecraft today. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Goodbye.